Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. To prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries, let us acknowledge our sins. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Kyrie eleison. Christe eleison. Kyrie eleison. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ. With the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father, Amen. Let us pray. O oh God, who show the light of your truth to those who go astray, so that they may return to the right path, give all who for the faith they profess are accounted Christians. The grace to reject whatever is contrary to the name of Christ and to strive after all that does it honor. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns within the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, just as from the heavens the rain and snow come down and do not return there, till they have watered the earth, making it fertile and fruitful, giving seed to the one who sows and bread to the one who eats. So shall my word be that goes forth from my mouth. My word shall not return to me void, but shall do my will, achieving the end for which I sent it. The word of the Lord. Responsorial Psalm. The seed that falls on good ground will yield a fruitful harvest. The seed that falls on good ground will yield a fruitful harvest. You have visited the land and watered it. Greatly have you enriched it. God's water courses are filled. You have prepared the grain. The seed that falls on good ground will yield a fruitful harvest. Thus have you prepared the land, dredging its furrows, breaking up its clods, softening it with showers, blessing its yields. The seed that falls on good ground will yield a fruitful harvest. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, I consider that the sufferings of this present time are as nothing compared with the glory to be revealed for us. For creation awaits with eager expectation the revelation of the children of God. For creation was made subject to futility, not of its own accord, but because of the one who subjected it, in hope that creation itself would be set free from the slave from slavery to corruption 
and share in the glorious freedom of the children of God. We know that all creation is groaning in labor pains even until now. And not only that, but we ourselves, who have the first fruits of the Spirit, we also groan within ourselves as we wait for adoption, the redemption of our bodies. The word of the Lord. Holy Gospel according to Matthew. On that day, Jesus went out of the house and sat down by the sea. Such large crowds gathered around him that he got into a boat and sat down. And the whole crowd stood along the shore. And he spoke to them at length in parables, saying, A sower went out to sow. And as he sowed, some seed fell on the path, and birds came and ate it up. Some fell on rocky ground where it had little soil. It sprang up at once because the soil was not deep. And when the sun rose, it was scorched, and it withered for lack of roots. Some seed fell among thorns, and the thorns grew up and choked it. But some seed fell on rich soil and produced fruit, a hundred or sixty or thirtyfold. Whoever has ears ought to hear. The Gospel of the Lord. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. In the uh, first reading today, the prophet Isaiah says that, well, God, tell, God says through him that his word will not return to him void, but rather it will accomplish his will, achieving the end, the end for which it was sent. This word can be understood in two ways. The first, Jesus, the word made flesh, or the word of God spoken to us through sacred scripture. Now we know that Jesus fulfilled the purpose for which he was sent. He taught, he suffered, he died, and rose from the dead thus achieving the redemption of the human race and salvation of our souls. However, since the work of the Redeemer has already been accomplished, all that remains is for the Word of God as written in Scripture to be fulfilled in all of us. And it is going to be perfectly fulfilled. In fact, much of what is written in sacred scripture is being fulfilled in the present moment. This can be frightening for some people, but for those with faith, we should see this as a most blessed time. This is a time for us to put to the test, uh, to be put to the test and fulfill the word of God planted in us. Now, Jesus tells us in the gospel that there are four kinds of soil into which the word of God is planted. That is the hard soil of the path, the rocky soil that has little or no depth, the thorny soil of the worldly, and the good soil. Now, I'm sure that we can think of ourselves as being good soil. But how do we know? For example, 
many who call themselves Catholics never pray. They never pray. They never go to Mass. Then they pick and choose whatever they want to believe. Others go through the motions of the faith, but do not, do not want to learn anything about the Catholic faith. See? So they compromise when the truth is inconvenient, and they stop uh, praying or going to Mass because of fear. Then there are those who pray every day, who learn the Catholic faith, study uh, sacred scriptures, and they help their neighbor. So, regardless of which of the four kinds of soil we may be right now, we must apply the words of our Lord from the Gospel to ourselves. Blessed are your eyes because they see and your ears because they hear. So we are living in a blessed time. It may not feel like that. And it feels less and less that way as we move forward. But this is the most blessed time in history because God is bringing about the fulfillment of his word every single day of our lives. St. Paul says that creation is groaning and in labor pains, he says. Well, this is where we are at the present moment. The labor pains will bring great suffering, certainly. And St. Paul reminds us that the sufferings of the present time are as nothing compared to the glory to be revealed in us. So if you find yourself like in labor pains, St. Paul tells us it is because we await the redemption of our bodies. In other words, God is going to use the events of our day to make us saints and bring us to heaven. So if our hearts are hard and shallow or constricted by worldliness, now is the time to turn to the Lord in prayer and beg him to grant you a change of heart. This change will allow us to become good soil so that the word of God will be fulfilled in us and we will achieve the end for which we were created. Saints and nothing else. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Please stand. Do you believe in God the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth? Do you believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was born into this world and who suffered? Do you believe also in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sin, and life everlasting? This is our faith, it's the faith we are proud to profess in Christ Jesus our Lord. Please be seated.
Let us now pray that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Look upon the offerings of the church, our Lord, as she makes her prayer to you, and grant that when consumed by those who believe, they may bring ever greater holiness. Through Christ, our Lord. The Lord be with you. And lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty in our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For he is the salvation of the world, the life of the human race, the resurrection of the dead. Through him the host of angels adores your majesty, rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. O Sana in the highest, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. O Sana in the highest. Let us proclaim the mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection. Through him, with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. And at the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, Thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. 
and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. May the peace of the Lord be always with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord,
let us pray. Having consumed these gifts, we pray, O Lord, that by our participation in this mystery, its saving effects upon us may grow. Through Christ, O Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. The Mass descended, let us go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy, our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To thee do we cry, poor van, children of Eve. To thee do we send up our sighs, mourning, weeping this valley of tears. Turn then, most gracious Advocate, thine eyes of mercy towards us. And after this, our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, pray for us, O Holy Mother of God. Let us pray. O God, our refuge and our strength, look down in mercy upon thy people who cry to thee. By the intercession of the glorious and immaculate Virgin Mary, Mother of God, of Saint Joseph, her spouse, the blessed apostles, Peter and Paul, and of all the saints, mercifully and graciously hear the prayers which we pour forth for the conversion of sinners and for the liberty and exaltation of our Holy Mother, the Church, through the same Christ, our Lord. Saint Michael, the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the weakness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all evil spirits, wander through the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Most Sacred Heart of Jesus. Most Sacred Heart of Jesus. Most Sacred Heart of Jesus. 